Believe it or not, some famous celebrities born near the start of the 20th century are still alive. Though the lives of these actors, actresses, directors, producers, and musicians differ, one thing they all have in common is the huge and lasting impact they've had on their respective industries. They're still alive and kicking. Dick Van Dyke Born December 1925 Dick Van Dyke is an American entertainer loved by millions around the world. He's known for his physical comedy and tons of charm. He is 97 years old. He was born in Missouri and started acting in school. However, he couldn't act professionally until much later in life because he had to serve in the Second World War. Once Van Dyke started working as an actor, he quickly became a family favorite on American TV and in movies. His most famous role is probably as Bert the Chimney Sweep in Mary Poppins, where he spoke with a funny Cockney accent. Van Dyke became a legend in American show business through his long and varied career. He has won Emmys, gotten a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and been honored with a Kennedy Center honor. Even though Van Dyke is now in his 90s, he has kept working in recent years. In 2018, he was in the sequel to Mary Poppins called Mary Poppins Returns. In the movie, he sings and tap dances with just as much charm and energy as he did in the first movie. Tony Bennett Born August 1926 Tony Bennett made a name for himself by singing jazz and big band standards with a smooth, soulful voice. He is now 96 years old. Bennett was born in New York and served in the military during World War II. In the 1950s, he began his career as an actor. He went on to have hits for decades, but the ballad, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, is the one that people remember best. Bennett's career slowed down around the turn of the century, but he was able to get back on track by singing with other artists. In 2014, he released Cheek to Cheek with Lady Gaga. It went to number one in the U.S., making Bennett the oldest person to have a number one album. Bennett has now stopped performing because he has Alzheimer's and needs to focus on his health. But he went out in style, putting out his last record when he was 95 and setting a Guinness World Record for being the oldest person to put out an album with all new songs. Iris Apfel Born August 1921 Iris Apfel has been a fashion icon for decades. She's known for her big black glasses and her bold accessories. Even though she is now 101 years old, her timeless sense of style continues to inspire artists of all ages. Apfel was born in New York. Her mother owned a small boutique, so she was surrounded by beautiful clothes from an early age. Iris learned her own style by watching her mother work, which set the foundation for her whole career. Apfel first got known because she and her husband, Carl, started Old World Weavers. The company specialized in finding old fabrics and actually did so for the White House for nine different presidents. Since she retired in 1992, age hasn't been a problem for Apfel, and her star has continued to rise. She just joined a modeling agency and has more than 2 million Instagram followers, making a mark for older people in places often thought to be just for the young. Elizabeth Waldo Born June 1918 Elizabeth Waldo got her start as a violinist, composer, conductor, and actress on her family's ranch in Washington State. Today, she is 104 years old. She started singing when she was three, and by the time she was five, she was playing a small violin. Even though she got a scholarship to the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia, the magical sounds of Native American music that she heard as a child stayed with her through school and the beginning of her career. As a violinist, Waldo went on solo tours to Panama, Costa Rica, Colombia, Peru, Chile, and Cuba. This trip ended in Mexico City, where she would later move to live. She started the New Mission Theater, a 150-seat venue for the Multicultural Music and Art Foundation of Northridge, at the beginning of 1987, in the city of Los Angeles. Branka Vasilinovic, born September 1918. 
A Serbian centurion and actress, Branka Vasilinovic is one of the oldest known living people in Serbia. Her amazing acting career has lasted more than 84 years and includes more than 100 stage performances and 50 movies and TV shows. Vaselnovic still performs today, even though she is 104 years old. Austria-Hungary is where Vaselnovic was born, what is now Serbia. In the 1930s, she went to Belgrade's National Theater to study acting. In the play Charles's Aunt, which was her stage debut when she was just 19, she became known for her funny and satirical roles. A lifelong ambassador for UNICEF, Vaselnovic became the oldest living actress in the world following the passing away of 104-year-old American actress Marsha Hunt in September 2022. Norman Lear Born July 1922 Norman Lear is a famous American producer, writer, and director best known for his work on the classic TV shows All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and The Jeffersons. During World War II, Lear joined the U.S. Air Force and worked as a radio operator and gunner from 1942 to 1945. After the end of World War II, he worked as a comedy writer and director for television. In the 1960s and later, he started writing and producing movies. Lear is also respected for his longtime support of many liberal political and social causes. In 1981, Lear was one of the people who started the group People for the American Way, which works for progressive causes. The documentary Norman Lear, Just Another Version of You, talks about how he broke down barriers by putting racial issues in sitcoms in 2016. He is currently 100 years old. Janice Page Born September 1922 Janice Page, now 100 years old, was born in Tacoma, Washington. When she was only five years old, she started singing in local amateur shows. After high school, she moved to Los Angeles, where she sang at the Hollywood Canteen during World War II. This led to a movie deal with Warner Brothers, but she left the company later to work in theater. Page was in touring productions of musicals like Annie Get Your Gun, Guys and Dolls, Sweet Charity, and Applause. She was also known for being the star of It's Always Jan, her own CBS situation comedy. Paige would work in both movies and plays at different times during her career. Janice Page is known as one of the last stars from Hollywood's Golden Age, who is still alive. Her career has been well-liked for more than 60 years. June Spencer Born June 1919 June Spencer just retired in 2022 at the age of 103. She is probably best known to fans of The Archers, a BBC radio soap in which she played matriarch Peggy Woolley for more than 70 years. Her character appeared in the very first episode, which aired in 1951. After she graduated from Nottingham Girls High School, she joined an amateur theater group and later got a certificate from the London Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Spencer was presented with an honorary degree from the University of Nottingham in July 2012 in recognition of her contributions to the field of broadcasting. She also received an OBE in 1991 and a CBE in 2017. In 2014, the BBC Audio Drama Awards gave her a Lifetime Achievement Award. Ray Anthony Born January 1922 On January 20, 1922, Ray Anthony was born in Bentleyville, Pennsylvania. His family moved, and most of his childhood was spent in Cleveland. There, he and his father both studied the trumpet. From 1940 to 1941, he was a member of Glenn Miller and his orchestra. Anthony started big band 80s in the early 1980s. Buddy Rich, Harry James, Les Brown, and Alvino Ray were among the other members. Anthony is still a band leader and musician. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. His later works moved away from the big band jazz style of his earlier ones. They included M.O.R., lounge music, blues, film themes, and TV themes. He is now 100 years old. Marsha Dean Born April 1922 
Marja Dean is an American of Greek descent who was once a beauty queen and went on to be a successful stage and movie actress in Hollywood from the 1940s to the early 1960s. She was born in Chicago, Illinois, but when she was a child, her parents moved to San Francisco. Today, she's 100 years old. She started acting when she was just seven and played different children on stage. Later, her performance as Juliet in a Romeo and Juliet play won her the Women's National Shakespeare Contest. For her modeling work in 1939, she was named Miss San Francisco and Miss California. She came in fifth place at the Miss America 1939 pageant after Patricia Donnelly. Bert I. Gordon Born September 1922 Bert Ira Gordon is a director and special effects artist from the United States. He started writing and directing B-movies that are a mix of science fiction and horror in 1977. King Dinosaur, 1955, Earth vs. the Spider, 1958, The Amazing Colossal Man in 1957, Village of the Giants in 1965, and Empire of the Ants are some of his most famous movies. Most of Gordon's work is in the style of big monster movies, and he used rear projection to make special effects for these movies. Forrest J. Ackerman called him Mr. B.I.G. because his initials were B.I.G., and he made a lot of movies with monsters in them. He is now 100 years old. Jacqueline White, born November 1922. Jacqueline Jane White is a former American actress who had a brief career in Hollywood during the 1940s and early 1950s. She worked as a contract player for both MGM and RKO Studios during that period. Her performances in the films Crossfire in 1947 and The Narrow Margin in 1952 are perhaps her roles that people remember best. She is one of the few surviving actresses from Hollywood's golden age when the industry was at its peak. She's now 100 years old. Henry Kissinger, born May 1923. Henry Alfred Kissinger is an American politician, diplomat, and geopolitical consultant. He was born in Germany on May 27, 1923. During the administrations of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, he was the National Security Advisor and Secretary of State. He is now 99 years old. As a Jew, Kissinger and his family left Nazi Germany in 1938. He was a smart student who got a B.A. summa cum laude from Harvard College in 1950 after studying under William Yandel Elliott. He got his M.A. in 1951 and his Ph.D. in 1954, both from Harvard University. Joel Gray, born April 1932. The Oscar and Tony Award-winning cabaret actor told People on April 11, 2022, that he would be celebrating his 90th birthday, quote, with good friends. But even after he entered his 10th decade, Gray has remained a busy actor. He had a cameo in Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tick-Tock Boom and was in three episodes of the Jeff Bridges starring thriller The Old Man on FX in 2022. When asked if, as a young boy growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, he ever thought he'd become such a busy actor, he told people, quote, No, I didn't. I've never thought about it, actually. And I never thought about this number that I'd be associated with. 9-0. William Daniels. Born March 1927. Daniels starred in the drama series St. Elsewhere and voiced the famous car Kit in the action series Knight Rider but he is probably best known as the beloved Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World. Daniels still hangs out with his former Boy Meets World castmates from time to time. In August 2019, he joined them for a funny photo op at the Boston Comic-Con Fan Expo. Daniels, who turned 90 in March 2017, is also known for his longtime marriage to actress Bonnie Bartlett. On June 30th, 2021, the couple celebrated their 70th anniversary. He is now 95 years old. Bob Barker, born December 1923. At age 99, American game show host Robert William Barker is no longer working. 
The Price is Right, the longest-running daytime game show in North American TV history, was hosted by Barker from 1972 to 2007. Truth or Consequences ran from 1956 to 1975, and Barker was the host from 1967 to 1987. Barker was in charge of both the Miss USA and the Miss Universe competitions. After his wife Dorothy Jo died of lung cancer in 1981, he began to fight for the rights of animals. Mike Nussbaum, born December 1923. Myron G. Nussbaum, who was now 99 years old, was born into a Jewish family and grew up in Chicago's Albany Park neighborhood. After serving in the military during World War II, he went back to Chicago and got married shortly after. His army duties included being General Dwight D. Eisenhower's Chief of the Message Center, where he sent the official notice of Germany's surrender. He owned a pest control company with his brother-in-law for 20 years. Noreen Bash Born April 1924 Noreen Bash, an American actress in movies and TV shows, was born Norabel Jean Roth. She's currently 98 years old. She started her acting career with uncredited roles at MGM. She made her first movie appearance in The Southerner in 1945. After that, she mostly played the lead in low-budget movies from the late 1940s and early 1950s including The Red Stallion in 1947, The Checkered Coat in 1948, and Phantom from Space in 1950. She stopped acting in 1962, went to college, and eventually started writing books. Eva Marie Saint, born July 1924. Eva Marie Saint is an American actress who works in movies, on stage, and on TV. She is now 98 years old. In her 70-year career, she has won an Academy Award and a Primetime Emmy Award and has been nominated for a Golden Globe and two British Academy Film Awards. After Olivia de Havilland and Angela Lansbury died in 2020 and 2021 respectively, Eva Marie Saint became the oldest living Academy Award winner. She is also one of the last stars from Hollywood's golden age to still be alive. And that concludes our list of the oldest celebs in the world. Whether still working or retired, the achievements of each show that age should be no barrier to greatness. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.